Have you ever stopped to ponder why a butterfly is not considered a bird or why a whale isn't a fish? The answers to these questions lie in the fascinating world of animal classification. Welcome to the realm where biology meets taxonomy, where we unravel the intriguing hierarchy that places every animal in its rightful spot. This maze of classification is not just a random assortment, but a meticulously organized system that helps us understand the intricate web of life on Earth. Step one in this journey is understanding the concept of kingdoms. Scientists have divided all life forms into five broad categories known as kingdoms. These include Monera, Protista, Fungi, Plantae, and the one we're interested in today, Animalia. Every creature you can think of, from the tiniest ant to the largest elephant, belongs to the kingdom Animalia. The next step takes us into Phyla. The animal kingdom is divided into numerous phyla based on certain characteristics. For instance, animals with a backbone fall under the phylum chordata, while those without it fall under various other phyla. Within each phylum, we further divide animals into classes. For example, within chordata, we have mammalia, which includes mammals, aves for birds, and so on. Each class is then divided into orders, which are further divided into families. Let's delve a bit deeper. Families are divided into genus, and each genus is divided into species. This is the most specific level of classification. For instance, human beings belong to the species Homo sapiens. Homo is our genus, and sapiens is our species. So to put it all together, the classification journey begins with a broad kingdom, which narrows down to phyla, then to classes, then orders, then families, then genus, and finally, the species. This seven-step process, known as the Linnean system, forms the backbone of modern taxonomy. In essence, the classification of animals is a complex yet fascinating system that helps us understand the relationships between different life forms, their evolution, and their roles in the ecosystem. It's like a gigantic family tree that links every creature on Earth, from the smallest insect to the largest mammal. To summarize, we began with the question of why a butterfly isn't a bird and why a whale isn't a fish. The answer lies in the intricate process of animal classification, which sorts life forms into kingdoms, phyla, classes, orders, families, genus, and species. This system allows us to understand the vast diversity of the animal kingdom and how different creatures relate to each other. Thank you for joining this exploration into the world of animal classification. It's a journey that reminds us of the incredible diversity of life on our planet and the intricate connections that bind us all. Until next time, keep pondering, keep exploring, and most importantly, keep learning.